word on the street. Looks like GoPro just leaked another image. Yeah, it looks like GoPro just leaked another image of the GoPro Hero 7. The reason why I say looks like GoPro leaked another image, well, kind of a similar thing happened last year when the GoPro 6, the rumors were all around, and um, yeah, all, all of a sudden we saw some images, and it just happened to be the same images, and this year I guess is a little bit different, I guess this image was uh, leaked in a Best Buy store, I'll have the image around here. So let's talk about this new GoPro 7, this new GoPro Hero 7. If you guys don't know, I'm a huge fan of the GoPro lineup. I have had the 4, the 5, the 6, and as soon as the 7 comes out, guys, I'm definitely going to run out and get the 7. Let's talk about some of the features. Now, there, these are only rumors. There's only been um, a couple photos out. There's no specs, but we can kind of guess the specs. So the GoPro Hero 6, GoPro Hero 6. The highest frame rates was 4K 60. Okay, now at 4K 30, there was image stabilization added. So if you're shooting anything below 4K 30, you had image stabilization. The only drawback with shooting 4K 60 on the Hero 6 is there's no image stabilization. Myself, when I first got the Hero 6, the first day I was out filming on it, I was filming in 4K 60, and then for like a few months, I wasn't able to use that footage in Final Cut Pro because I had to wait on some sort of update, and it was kind of a hassle. So I would imagine that if they are going to add a new feature to the GoPro Hero 7, one feature that they will add is possibly image stabilization at 4K 30. There are rumors out there that we could see frame rates up to 4K 120 frames per second. I kind of doubt this one because that would eat up a lot of battery. However, if you look at some of these leaked photos, if you look really, really close, there are three different GoPro lineups. There's like a white one, there's like a silver one, there's a black one, but if you look closer to the black one, it looks as if it's slightly thicker than previous GoPros. Maybe this is some sort of an illusion from the photo or maybe it, it, it this is a thicker GoPro. If this is a thicker GoPro, that means that they could cram a lot more things inside of this GoPro, possibly better battery life, maybe a faster chip. Let's go back to the GoPro 6. So from the GoPro 6, one thing that I noticed that was a big difference from the GoPro 5 was the low light capabilities oh my gosh the low light capabilities were so much better on the six versus the five i would imagine that they could possibly improve that maybe just a little bit let's really talk about one of the largest drags with the gopro the entire lineup guys you know what the worst thing about owning a gopro is the freaking audio the audio is horrible right as of now i'm filming this on a gopro and for me to film this on a gopro you know what i have to do Yes, so for me to film on this GoPro, I have to have like this like set up here. This is an extra $50 piece. This allows me to connect a microphone to the GoPro, but for me to connect this microphone to the GoPro, I actually have to buy this extra $50 adapter. Honestly, it's not that big of a deal buying the $50 adapter. It's just it's just this, now I have to have this extra thing. Why couldn't I just plug my microphone directly into the camera? That sounds like it would be a really good idea, but yet GoPro wants to charge $50 more for this device and inconvenience most creators that need decent audio because now you actually have to have this thing hanging off somewhere versus, I, yeah, you guys get what I'm saying. The price of the new GoPros, we don't exactly know the price, but we can definitely make some estimates. So the white one is supposed to be like the lower end, the base model. It should start off at around 299. Who knows, maybe the higher frame rates will um, cap out at 4K 30 or maybe 4K 60. There's also the GoPro Silver Edition. It should start off around 399, around the $400 mark. And once again, the frame rates, who knows what the frame rates may max out at, maybe 4K 60 with the image stabilization, who knows. And then there is the GoPro Hero Black, the 7 edition, and this one should be around 499 so hitting that $500 mark. And some of the rumors out there say that this camera will be able to shoot up to 120 frames per second in 4K, and like I say, I, I really doubt that. That would be really cool if it did. I, I don't know, I, I, I kind of doubt it, but we'll see, who knows. 
GoPro may surprise us once again. They maybe they'll surprise us with an even cooler camera. But let's really, really hope that they can um, work on that audio. <laughs> audio yo now if the gopro 7 black edition if it is slightly thicker that could possibly mean we could have some better audio it would be incredible to use a gopro like you know just without a microphone and without the whole setup because a lot of times like you you just really need like a microphone with when you're using a GoPro unless you're doing something like super sporty and super outdoorsy like you're jumping out of a plane of course you don't need audio for something like that but for a lot of other instances like audio is really nice especially for skateboarding like i really like to hear you know the wheels hitting the ground and i really like to hear the motors and stuff like that so that's one thing that i i really hope that they improve on the gopro 7 please improve one of these features now when will these gopros be released so let, let's talk about this release date looks like they've already mailed out product placement and if they've already mailed out product placement chances are they've probably already shipped out some cameras i don't know when this new gopro will be announced it has not officially been announced yet as soon as this new gopro is announced i would imagine in less than a week it's probably going to go on sale this is probably why we've seen that you know leaked image from that best buy store somewhere in the u.s so what about the karma drone well <laughs> i think gopro Pro is um I think they've already lost the drone game. I mean, have anybody ever heard of DJI? DJI, I mean, how can GoPro compete with DJI? I'm actually surprised DJI hasn't just come out with an action camera just to compete with GoPro and sort of be, get more of GoPro's market share. I am a huge fan of GoPro, but if there is some other company to come out and make some similar product, don't you guys think I will jump up and down and be like, yo, that's what I want, that's what I want, especially if it shoots 4K60. 4K60 is not that popular amongst action cameras right now, but I think in the future, like, like next year, like 2019, we're gonna see a whole lot of items come out with 4K60. Now, um, another rumor I saw on YouTube was um, this new GoPro could possibly um, shoot 5K 30 frames per second. Now guys, I don't think that this new GoPro is gonna shoot 5K 30 frames per second. The reason why I don't think so, battery life, battery life, battery life, that would eat through battery like crazy. I'm trying to figure out why would anyone need to film 5K 30 frames per second. That would be a very very uh, beautiful image but what would you veer it on 4k tvs aren't really that popular yet you would need a 5k display just to view the 5k footage and, and most people haven't even seen 4k footage 4k footage is stunning but 5k footage i would just imagine it oh man i, I would guys i don't think 5k is coming to the gopro i think there's <laughs> so many more things that can improve before they roll out with 5k so i don't think yeah that 5k no scratch that don't don't think that's gonna happen but yeah i'm super stoked i'm super stoked i can't wait to these new gopros are announced i can't wait till they hit the shelves because i, I like I, I just want one like i can't wait I've, I've i've filmed so much stuff on gopros and gopro is just what i use now it's it's my thing i can't wait to have a new gopro in my hand yo but anyway thanks a lot for watching i'm gonna wrap this video up like comment subscribe and yeah let's keep those rumors on yo